Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. Today we're going to be doing a Patreon picks, which means one of my patrons tells me what to listen to, and I do it. No questions asked, no exceptions. So far, we've had some <laughs> we've had some lengthy stuff, and I haven't turned it away yet. So, uh, today we're going to be checking out a request from Joseph Morstel, which uh, he said that we ch uh, we looked at Persephone before, but that was during Instrumental Week, uh, and he wants me to listen to a song with their vocals, so he suggested the, ma the Majestic of Gaia. I want to say the Majesty of Gaia. I really do, every time. Uh, it's the Majestic of Gaia, but... <laughs> Alright, so... Persephone. Let's see what you got with vocals. I'm awake. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, this is a real nice groovy section. Yeah. Nice little slide up there. Yeah, yeah, I am all for these chords right here. Uh, I don't know what sound that is, but I really love it. Full stop before going in hard. Yeah. Dang, this guy's just tearing it up.
Yeah, yeah, let's get some bells in here. The guitars were the focus there, but that drumming to transition was dirty. Oh man. Put an echo on that, <laughs> that scream. Just the raw talent going on in this song is phenomenal. All right. Yeah, I am beyond <laughs> impressed with that. I don't particularly remember uh, anything specific about Persephone. Last time we checked them out in Instrumental Week. Um, but this song is leaving an impression on me. Uh, it is just phenomenal. There is a great deal of expertise, not just in the musicianship and playing, but in the um, you know, the compositional side as well. Uh, the band kind of veers a little more towards the metal, thrashy, metalcore. I don't know 
what you would call the heavier stuff, though. Um, and I would really like to see more of the melodic elements because they they write some very beautiful composition when they want to. And in this song, it was more of a, a secondary aspect to it where the core of the song was this, you know, fast, harsh, brutal, ridiculous speed playing. And, uh, you know, that's, it could just be this song, you know, I don't know. But specifically, they they are amazing musicians. Like, just to be able to play at the speed, the sweeps, the tremolo pickings, the, the hammer-ons, all that for the guitar work, and then just the drums. Just fast drum playing will always fascinate me just because of the raw, muscular strength. Well, more, more not necessarily strength, endurance of playing these notes at these speeds just activating those muscles rapidly for long periods of time like it's ridiculous i can't even i can't even begin to think of it i it was just <laughs> it's just beyond my physical capabilities and it seems godlike to be able to do this kind of stuff for, for the length of time that they uh you know require of themselves um but then you look at also the bass work, really awesome runs in the bass, even if they, even though they weren't as prominently displayed as the uh, guitars, um, and then just the vocal range. I mean, he's got these fries, he's got these growls, he has a beautiful, warm, uh, you know, clean, and they're just extremely talented people. But. Then you also look at some of their more melodic lines, uh, that recurring clean section, uh, I think we could probably refer to it as a chorus, it popped up three times, I think. Um, I mean, that, the, the opening, uh, the chord progression in the little nature section with the birds chirping away, there is lots of little segments where you can really hear their, um, like, chord theory strengths coming through. And these guys, I think, could write some really beautiful, masterful works of music uh, that aren't based around the typical metal, uh, you know, speed and, and showmanship and, and just like raw brutality in that in that sense. And um, I would really, I'm going to have to go back and listen to that instrumental song and see which one it was. Um, but... Actually, let me do that. Let me do that right now. Let's see. I am pushing all the wrong buttons here. Consciousness parts. Yeah, the name's not even ringing a bell. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that one. Maybe that has more of what I'm looking for. Cause, like I said, they. I really appreciate the, the metal aspects. Um, mostly on the musicianship level, but from a composition level, I, they can, I think they can write some really strong stuff and I'd like to see what they do when they really focus on that, um, and see what kind of really strong, emotive, just powerful pieces they can get out of their more melodic side. Uh, I think that's really all I can say, um, about them. They're just phenomenal on all fronts. Their composition work, their transition work, the way that they understand how their instruments come into play and what roles they can embody, even not even specifically in a single part, but how each role can help transition pieces. We saw some interesting guitar, or sorry, um, <sighs> why am I blanking out on this? Drum fills kind of transition between uh, two sections, but we also saw some expert use of uh, fades and uh, focusing on vocals. We saw some guitars tra transition us between sections. So they have a wide repertoire of techniques that they can employ to create uh, this music that seems wildly varied. Like there is a lot of really cool, unique ideas going on in here, but it's, it was a very cohesive um, song for being progressive i'd say this is progressive metal uh we saw some really 
uh, you know, interesting use of time signature. We saw some retardandos. Um, we saw some tempo shifts. Uh, I want to say there was a key signature shift or two, um, but they weren't they weren't like huge changes. It was more of like uh, you know moving a, a single key up or down. So it's a little little difficult to hear some of that stuff out, but um, it's just masters at what they're doing. Phenomenal work all around. And this, like I said, the first time we listened to Persephone, uh, didn't really leave much of an impression. But right now, after hearing this song, I need to hear more. Uh, they they are going on my lengthy check out more on your own time list. Uh, that list is getting almost as long as the reaction list is, but uh, yeah, I need more of this. So this is where you guys come in, though. Hit me up with your recommendations, your comments. Let me know what you thought about this, and uh, you know if there's anything else I should be checking out in this vein, or especially, um, like I mentioned, something more of the melodic, harmonic side, uh, where they can really show off some of their composition rather than their musicianship. Because, like I said, I, I think they have a, a lot of potential there, and I'd like to see if they've explored that at all. So, yeah, while you're down there in the comments, you can like, subscribe, and ring the bell. All three of those things help out the channel immensely. You can also check out my Twitter or my Patreon. Those links are in the description. And I will not be back tomorrow with the Selfish Sundays. I'm going to just put a blanket comment out right now. Those are, uh, for the most part, on on hiatus i i don't really see myself being able to get to those videos um for the time being we'll continue to do two patreon picks i'm really going to try to keep doing uh five themed videos a week and that puts me at seven videos for a week and that's um that's kind of pushing it right now but i'm doing okay uh, you know, we we had we, we we lost a couple of days earlier this week, completely outside of my my uh, my grasp. I just didn't have any control over that. But um, you know, next next week starts school, and and as long as I can keep a day ahead, I think I'll be all right on that. So, but yeah, for right now, the the selfish Sundays are on hiatus, which sucks because I have a lot of stuff I'd like to share with you guys that I found on my own that I don't really see many uh, requests for. Um, there's also a few bands that I want to follow up on my own. I can't really wait for them to show back up into a themed week, so I you know I want to get to them. It's unfortunately just not going to happen at the moment. So. Yes, I won't be back tomorrow, but I will be back Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. UTC, with next week's theme. And off the top of my head, I can't remember what that one is. Let's see. I don't know how many people are actually still here on the video, so I'm just going to take my time. I'm not really going to rush through here. What is this? Oh, yes! Unknown Gems. That is right. So, um, yeah, we, we're going to get to listen to some bands that are not so popular, maybe haven't shown up in the requests at all. Um bands that uh, some of you have decided need more attention and aren't getting it. So I'm excited about that. I love looking at unknown stuff. Checking out the popular, popular bands is amazing. They're popular for a reason. They're doing stuff right. And it's always really cool to, you know, see what everybody else is really excited about. You know, hop on the bandwagon sometimes or at least just come to an appreciation of why they're as popular as they are. But I really do like looking at some of the the stuff that flies under the radar because to me they tend to take more chances. Um, they're, a lot of them are really trying to distinguish themselves and stand out in a very crowded crowd uh, you know, the advent of the internet means that pretty much anybody can release their music. And every media, every art form has become exponentially crowded. So you know, why not use my platform to elevate a few voices every now and then? So, Actually, I wish I could do it more often. 
But it's only so much time in a day and only so many videos I can make in a week. So, all right, yeah, with that said, I won't be back tomorrow. I'll be back Monday with Unknown Gems, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. UTC. Until then, you guys stay safe out there and have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos. Thank you.